Hello and welcome to ESC 418 Technical Communication. I'm your instructor, Jerry Vandenberg. My contact information is here. You can reach me by email or phone. I'll generally get back to you within a day and sometimes right away. I do have an office, although it's unlikely that I'll be spending any time on campus this year, 2020, during the COVID pandemic. And this course is designed to be fully online. It was developed as a new online course during the pandemic, although it is likely to be an online course forever beyond this point. We'll see how it goes this year. So as it is a brand new course, I'm developing it as I go. So I just want to tell you right up front, if you have any feedback, any things you'd like to add, any changes to the way the course is delivered, please reach out to me and let me know. I'm interested in making this course as good as I can for you. So I'm really looking for any feedback you have. Before we get into the course content, I'll give you a little bit of background about myself because it is relevant to the course. I studied water quality technology at Okanagan University College from 1995 to 1997. During that time, I took two technical writing courses, which I found to be very useful throughout my career. Following college, I worked in the water treatment industry for a few years, then went back to university at the University of Calgary, and I completed an environmental science bachelor's degree and a master's degree in environmental chemistry. I then went to work in industry for about 15 years. I worked for a company called Golder Associates, and my job was to assess the impact of any sort of large industrial development on water systems. So mine water discharges, hydroelectric reservoirs, uh, power plants, really how does this large, in large industrial activity influence the receiving water system, whether it's through a discharge, a withdrawal, any sort of pollution effects. Uh, my job was to assess that, often using computer models. Of course, any type of scientific endeavor is best communicated through a report and a presentation. And I did a lot of these as a scientist, but more importantly, I mentored junior scientists and trained them and edited and revised their work. And over 15 years, I've come to see a lot of the same sort of common mistakes, things that really relate to a lack of formal training in writing during the scientific education. So we all study basic grammar in grade school, but like most people, uh, myself included, until I had gone back and taken a technical writing course, we often forget about some of the basic mechanics of speech and we take these things for granted. When we start to try and write more accurately and concisely, we actually need to go back to the basics and understand how are these sentences best put together, and then how are the paragraphs best put together, and then how does this make up a nice report, which is accurate but still readable, something that tells a story. And we need to balance that interesting part with the technical part because technical writing is generally very factual and we don't include things like humor and metaphor. We need to get to the point and be very uh, precise. Yet, at the same time, we need to make it interesting for the reader or our work has very little impact. So after 15 years of training junior scientists, I've come up with quite a long list of things that I feel could help improve reports and presentations. And so I've turned this into a course and I really hope that you find it useful, not just in your uh, career to come, but also in the remainder of your academic career. I'm hoping that I can help you write better reports, make better presentations, and lay the foundation for the work to come. Now, with any type of technical communication, it's going to take a lot of practice. We'll have some weekly assignments that will reinforce some of the skills, but really, as I say, this is really setting the foundation that you will build upon and hone your skills for many years to come following this course. So with that, let's look at the course content. The course is structured to be fully online and the format will be generally uh, an introduction lecture by myself, fairly short, either using the whiteboard or PowerPoint or some combination thereof, going over the concepts that you're going to learn about. I'll then refer you to some online resources some of them will be online textbooks, uh, online websites that are geared towards helping writers, podcasts, YouTube videos. I'll try and mix up the content and try and make it a little bit more interesting. Generally for every topic that we talk about in the lecture, I'll give you two or three different links where you can go read, watch videos, 
or listen to a podcast to try and reinforce the concepts. So the first couple of weeks will be grammar. And as you can see, the, the subjects don't line up perfectly with weeks. They'll be a little bit fluid as we go, but generally this is the amount of time that we'll spend. So one or two weeks on grammar, correcting some of those common errors that I've seen over the years. Things like, what is the difference between effect versus affect? Subtle differences that can really influence the quality of your technical writing. We'll then talk about style. So how do we make our document more readable? You can have a grammatically correct document that is hard to read because it doesn't flow. I'll try and help you draft a document that flows and that is interesting for your reader. And that gets into the writing process. How do we draft a document from start to finish, including all the key points, but in a way that really flows and makes a lot of sense. Then we'll talk about writing formats. So this is a journal article, a technical memorandum, a long report, a letter, email, other types of written formats. Then we'll get into visual communication for the last few weeks. So we'll look at how to develop a nice presentation, how to balance the figures versus text, um, and then we'll get into reviewing other people's work. So how do we review somebody else's work and give them constructive feedback on their writing? How do we spot their errors? And more importantly, how do we spot our own errors and how do we review our own work? Of course, that's much more difficult because we already understand what's on the page and our mind will fill in blanks and it makes it very difficult for us to do self-review. Finally, verbal communication. Talk about how to listen, how to present, how to present to technical versus non-technical audiences, how to be a good expert witness, and other types of verbal communication that you might uh, need as a scientist. All of the lectures will be fully online, pre-recorded and pre-posted before your lecture date. Each week I'll start with a small lecture by myself, either at this whiteboard or through Microsoft PowerPoint. And then I will give you a bunch of links to online resources. So the online resources include the Purdue University Online Writing Lab. There is an open source textbook. There will be some podcasts and YouTube videos. So hopefully I can give you every topic in two or three different formats to help reinforce it. The tutorials, on the other hand, will be live each week using Collaboration Ultra or Zoom. Uh, I haven't got that sorted out yet, but that'll be posted to Canvas before the course starts. Either way, though, it'll be a live online hour where we go over these topics. So for the first couple of weeks, we'll, we'll start with Microsoft, uh, uh, Microsoft Word. The first week will just be the basic functions in Word just to get everybody up to speed. Week two will be some more advanced features looking at how to link things within your document, how to cross-reference, how to build a template, really just how to make that process more efficient. Next, we'll talk about scientific vocabulary. How do you build your vocabulary? It will make your writing much more concise if you can use scientific vocabulary properly. Next, citation software. There's uh, two different software packages we'll be looking at. One is Zotero, which is an open source software that I use, and the other is EndNote, which is distributed by UBC. Next, we'll talk about how to do a, a literature review. I'll show you some uh, online tools, particularly Web of Science, which is part of the UBC library and Google Scholar, which you've probably all used before. And then style sheets. Style sheets are documents that describe the rules for writing a document. So if you're writing a journal article, you will go to that journal's website, download their style document. It will tell you how to format your your headings, your tables, figures, and all sorts of other parts of the document, such as fonts, really just making that document more uniform. So journal articles have these, but also in consulting, most technical memoranda will follow some sort of a style sheet. Later, we'll go through Microsoft PowerPoint using some of the drawing tools, some animation tools. Uh, again, you may have seen these already. Uh, this is just bringing everybody up to the same speed. So finally, we'll look at job search tools, how to build that proper resume. We'll talk about this in lecture as well, but we'll focus more on job search during the tutorial. How to write a good resume, 
more importantly, how to write a cover letter that will get a prospective employer to read that resume, and then how to properly go through an interview, which can be, you know, a major differentiator when you've been shortlisted with probably two or three or four other people, and now it's time for that employer to pick one. How do you become that person they pick? All right, so marking and assignments. Each week we'll have an assignment that reinforces the topic we've talked about, either in the lecture or tutorial or both. Technical writing is something where you will improve your skills over many, many years. And what I'm hoping to achieve through this course is to give you the fundamentals that you can then apply to become a great writer later on. There's only so much we can do in one semester. I'm not expecting everybody to become a perfect technical writer in the next three months. What I'm really hoping is to improve your writing, to give you the skills so that you can understand how to write better documents and through the process of writing many, many documents over time, you will become a great writer. Now, a lot of people have inherent skills in writing. Some people are better than others. And so we're really going to start with the basics and get everybody on that same fundamental ground so that we can then move into better documents, drafting from scratch, and writing letters, writing proposals, writing memoranda. Each of these will be covered in sequence over the next 12 weeks in a short assignment worth only 2.5% for a total of 30% of your mark. We'll also have one major project as we go. This major project will build on itself, beginning with a proposal where you will propose a topic in a short letter, and that will then become your topic for a large report. The report will be a literature review focusing on other academic journals because Part of the process of becoming a good writer is also to read a lot of other people's work. So you'll do a fair amount of reading of scientific material in this, and then you'll summarize it in a report. And that report is worth a quarter of the mark, so it's a fairly substantial report. You'll also present that finding to me and a few other students. So each student will give a presentation worth 15% of your mark, and that presentation will be based on what you learned in your major project. Finally, we have a final exam that will be set by the university in terms of date and place and format. Uh, in all likelihood, that will be an online uh, exam where you need to write some uh, sort of letter or memo and also correct some other uh, grammar and other issues in writing, but that'll be set later. So all I know for now is that this will be a quarter of your mark and it'll probably be a typical three hour online exam. Okay, well this concludes the introduction to the course. You can now get into the content. I'm very excited to be here. I hope you are too. And I really do believe this will be a valuable course for anybody who takes it. I really hope that you can improve your writing, both as a student, which will help you throughout your academic career, whether you go into grad school or just finish your bachelor's degree. Uh, and then as you become a scientist, whether you work in government, academia, consulting, industry, wherever you go, I really hope that I can help you communicate your findings better, more clearly, more concisely and precisely, and hopefully also more interesting for the reader and the listener. So with that, welcome to ESC 418 and let's get started.